When we study meteorites, because meteorites are a form of time machine. They let us go back to the very, very origins of the solar system. Meteorites have been described as a poor man's space. This meteorite is especially interesting because it is rich in carbon. Not just uh, simple carbon compounds, but things like amino acids. And these are profoundly important in the context of the emergence of life. Uh, amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. No proteins, no amino acids, no proteins. So this meteorite uh, was studied. This, is a, this meteorite, by the way, fell in the south of France in the early 1800s, near the city of Toulouse. And it was studied at the time by none other than the, probably the most famous scientist of the time, Louis Pasteur. Now, Louis Pasteur was a chemist, and he drilled little holes into this meteorite to see if he could detect microbes, which he did not. And based on his investigation, he came to the conclusion that this meteorite at least was sterile, devoid of life, extant or extinct. This is a bog-standard chondrite meteorite, and this comes from Colorado in the United States. It's a stone meteorite, and you might see that it's been sliced in half so that the inner part can be studied macroscopically and microscopically using a petrographic microscope. It has got a number of unique components, such as little inclusions of nickel iron, which you would never see in earthly rocks. And these were formed 4.6 billion years ago at the birth of the solar system itself. Oh. This is a piece of basalt from the Antarctic. And basalt is a classic igneous rock. And it's typically black in color like this. And it was given to me by an Antarctic explorer, uh, Pete Wazalewski. And this is interesting for several reasons. Number one, the origin being Antarctica, as opposed to some place like Hawaii, where fresh basalt is literally formed every day and flows into the sea. Uh, so the, the dark stuff is basalt, very, very common rock, an igneous rock. Now the green stuff is interesting. This is what's known as olivine a common ferromagnesian silicate. And for those of you interested in jewellery, it's also known as peridot. So we've got a rather young rock here. This, this is probably, what, a few hundred years old, something like that.